All right, we're going to start scraping the page and learning how to use the regular expression builder to pull off the page what we want. And in this case, we're going to pull two different things, the address and the phone number, and they're separated on the page text. So what I do is I look for what I'm looking for, and right here you can see I've got battleground as the first result. So I'm going to type that in in the page text view and search for it and then we can get the stuff that we're looking for for the regular expression. Now here you can see right before the Deer Park, Texas um, you can see it says the DRG true address with a quotation mark so copy that you have to hit control C to copy it off of the page text view and then hit the little button with the funnel on it and that copies it over to the regular expression builder. And we'll let it load here. And instead of trying to search through all this text for what we just found, I mean this is a big, big page here. It's easier to use the search and find on the text view to do it. And then what we'll do is we're going to go back into the page text view and we're going to see what the look behind is, which is what follows what you want. So here you can see right before the geocode, see geocode, we don't want that, you see a quotation mark, so we'll put that in the look behind and hit test regular expression and it brings up everything because the comma it'll search for everything until it finds the last comma so in this case you have to use the shortest match and as you can see we get the results that we want but the only problem we have here is we don't have the phone numbers so I'm going to show you a little little trick with regular expressions so what we do is go back over the page text view and we're going to look for the phone number here and find out what the look ahead and look behind is here. What's before what we want and what's right directly behind it. So you can see it says S -A -S -X -P -H, and then I don't want the plus one in there so we'll <coughs> control C to copy that. Take it over here to the regular expression builder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the regular expression that I already had for the address. We'll take and copy that over in a notepad file. And that way we'll have it so that we can find the address and then the phone number. And then we'll take what we just copied, the SXPH, what we're looking for ahead of the phone number, and we'll copy that into the regular expression builder. And then after it is a quotation mark. So here you can see I have all the matches of the phone number. So we're going to copy that over to our notepad file. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a pipe between her. Pipe will give us the OR value, so we'll search for the address and the phone number together. And we'll take that and we'll copy that into the regular expression builder. And you'll see what we get here is we get the address on one line and then the phone number on the next. And I'm going to show you in the next section when we copy it over to the template editor how we're going to fix this with a loop and some counters so that we can get exactly what we want to save into our file which would be the address and the phone number on one line. Make sure you keep your notepad open with your regular expression because you're going to need it here in a minute. So copy what you've done so far over into the template editor. Then I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. We're actually going to put a counter for the address and we're going to put a counter for the phone numbers in here. Before we do anything else, it's really easy in a macro builder. You get a macro, look up here in counters initiate counter with the value and then you name your counter whatever you want you don't have to count it call it counter one or whatever um, and I got a little ahead of myself here but we'll get it fixed here in a minute you want to make sure that you have a step in there to get the DOM text of the page because that's what we parsed and we're going to add another step in here like I said I got ahead of myself here I'll, we'll go back and put the other counter in and all that 
here in just a sec. I'm going to copy the regular expression in first. So you take the result of that step of getting the DOM page, go to regular expression macro, and then you're going to copy that regular expression that you had in the in the regular expression builder to get the results into that step right after getting the DOM text. Now I'm going to add the other counter in, delete that because I forgot to put the other counter in, but we're going to put another counter in here for the phone numbers. <coughs> and what's going to happen is we're going to set, if you looked on the regular expression page, builder page, you had the result, of the address is zero, and the result of the phone number is one, and, and so forth and so on. So, so we're going to set the first value for the addresses at zero. And then we're going to set the, the counter value of the for the phone numbers is one. And you can change, like I said, change the counter name so you can keep up with it, especially if you have a bunch of counters. I'm going to change this to, to 1 now, because that's the first match that we want. And then what we'll do is we'll go in and add a loop in here and increase the counter values by 2 every time. And then that way the address will be 0, and then 2, and then 4, and then 6. And that way you'll get the address first and then the phone number second. And I'm going to go in here and change my regular expression. We're going to have two regular expressions, one for the one to get the counter value of the addresses first. And you'll just copy that value. The counter, you can use the macro counter get here. And paste it in your regular expression. And then I'm just going to take that and copy it into the other step where we're going to regular do the regular expression for the phone numbers. And you're just going to change the counter value. Now you could do it in two, diff two different steps. You could do the regular expression for the phone number and, and the address in two different steps also. Um, I just like doing it all together just to give you an idea of what you can do with the regular expressions in the pipe where you can get all the results that you're looking for even though they're separated on the page and that way you don't get all the extra junk in there that you don't want in case there's some kind of problem that you're having getting getting the results that you want now I'm just gonna save everything to a file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the address and the phone number to a file and this is a regular file of pen string macro. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on other videos. It's real easy how to save your results to a file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the well here I'm going to put a, a branch out here for the counters where we're going to increase the counters, counter values by two. And here's a little shortcut for you. You know, if you have more than one step with the basically the same thing, like increasing the counter values, you don't have to open the macros editor every time. You can just take your value and copy it from one to the other and then just change. change the values in there. So right here I'm just going to increment the counter by 2. And first I'm going to put in the address. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to copy this and then close the macros builder. And we'll paste that in there in that one. And we'll paste it again in where we want the phone numbers and just change the counter 
value there to phone. And that way you don't have to do the same thing for the... Now here we're going to leap it off of that step where we save the results and go back and get the next... Go back up to the regular expression. You don't want to go up to where it pulls the DOM text to the page because that takes time and memory. So your template may get a little uh, slow on you. Go back to where your regular expression was and it's just going to place the counter values in there. So it'll pull up the match number two of of the addresses and match number three to give you the phone number. And this step here <coughs> is just a, a fail safe step. Um, when the regular expression, when there's not any more matches, we need to step out of the template. So you come off of the unsuccessful exit of parsing the, the results and put it in there and that way your template will execute successfully. And then run your template through debug just to make sure everything's working all right. Check your values over on the right, make sure everything's coming up okay. I'll show you what I mean about getting the DOM text to the page, especially when you have a big page like any kind of Google results. When you pull the DOM text to the page, it takes it a while to load, so, because it has to scrape. the whole page. So here we go. We're getting the results that we want. <coughs> Got the first address and then the phone number. We're appending the file so that it records it. And just keep stepping through your template make sure your loop's working okay. And that's how you parse web pages with regular expressions. And how you use a regular expression builder to pull values that are separated by a bunch of junk and get what you want.